Well, good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us here. It is six o'clock, so we want to go ahead and get started, get you on your way this evening. So first things first, a huge thank you for joining us this evening. We're really excited to be here and share all of this information with you. So to all the travel agents uh, on the line, we appreciate your support. And if you're a consumer listening in, thank you for joining us to learn more about the options you have to travel here within the United States and work with your travel advisor to book you as part of the Globus family of brands. So just a few things first, uh, we'll introduce ourselves here shortly, but I'm Matt Spillner, one of the business development managers with the Globus family of brands. I'm joined by my coworker, Miss Nancy Bauman. We are coming to you, I'm in Minnesota, she is in tropical Wisconsin, so we are in the Midwest here with you. We're really, really excited to share all about North America with you. So sit back, relax, enjoy the presentation. If you have anything that pops up, please feel free to use the question box. We will do our absolute best to make sure that we can get to those questions throughout the presentation. But really it's it's fun because we're just gonna be showcasing all the different itineraries. I mean, there's so many and we'll show you that. But without further ado, Nancy, I'm gonna let you take it away and get started sharing about the goodness that North America has to offer. Well, thank you so much, Matt. And I couldn't, I had, wouldn't be remiss if I didn't show our pictures so everybody could just see just how excited we are. Um, so as you can see, I'm on the left, Matt is on the right. We are business development managers. We are right now waiting for our snow to come. In Wisconsin, they're telling us it could be anywhere from one inch to 15 inches. So good luck with that, everybody. But today what we're gonna do is talk a little bit about the Globus family of brands and some of our subsidiaries such as uh, uh, Cos and monograms and then of course we have Avalon waterways but you know Globus started in 1928 that is just incredible and it's hard to think that that was our first bus that left picture is our first bus on the right you see the Globus that is our first board of directors and our international headquarters is actually based in Lugano Switzerland so we started with taking little boat trips across the river and we've grown through all those years to one of the largest and the oldest tour companies in the world and I like to bring this up because we want to make sure that you know that when you book with us your money is safe with us we've been through many pandemics we've been through the war we've been through the depression so we've been through a lot of things now this is what we have going on for this year for 2022 and actually we have sunsetted a few of our tours because we didn't know exactly when we were going to get in business again I will tell you and Matt knows this the last three weeks we have been skyrocketing with our bookings so we do know that the um, COVID is coming down in numbers people are feeling safer about getting out there and look at all we have almost 500 vacations going on we attend 16 continents 70 countries and and again, we've been around for 93 years. But how many tours do we actually have going on in the United States? We have 81 tours, if you can imagine that, between US and Canada tours. We have 46 on our Globus side, which is really our mothership. And then we have Choice Touring, which we added um, throughout the pandemic. These are tours that you can actually choose several different um, excursions during your trip. We have an escapes and our escapes packages go all over the world. And these are those tours that are off season, really November through March, and they are a great bargain. And then our Cosmos, which is our value brand, we have 28 of these. And you know, I always tell people, I used to tell people, I should say, you know, people would say, oh, I will go and travel all around the world and I'll, I'll keep the United States and North America when I can't travel around the world anymore. Now we're just saying everybody wants to see North America as well as the world. We are, we have so many tours coming out. We came out with so many tours during the pandemic and we're really excited. So let's talk a little bit about Globus. What makes Globus our mothership? This is the brand that started 93 years ago. We have so many different things that make us so wonderful in the Globus side. So you are going to find that more of your tours are included in your package. Of course, we have top-notch transportation through all of it. Our hotels are all four and five star hotels. We have VIP access, so you're going to skip all the lines, which we'll tell you a little bit about. And we'll talk a little bit about our tour directors. So let's first talk about some of our local favorites. Now our local favorites, what we refer to as our LF. 
Now, granted, this particular thing may, well, this may be in the United States, but I don't think it is. But we have local favorites all over the world, including the United States. These are those fun little places that you have to go to that nobody else knows about. So if we go into Minneapolis and we go and visit Matt, I'm sure he's going to find some of those off the beaten places that, that nobody knows. And we like to take you there. We like to take you to families' homes that are maybe on a farm and, and do some cooking there and all kinds of things. Then, as I said, we have our VIP access. You know, since we've been around for 93 years, we really have built some great relationships over the years. So we are going to skip the lines. We're going to go into side doors and the back doors. We want you to have more time on your trip to be able to relax, go shopping, um, read a book, and just enjoy the city. So we don't want you have to have to stand in lines. And I will say in all of the tours that we do, probably our number one guest satisfaction area is in our tour directors. They are fantastic. Now here's a little a tidbit for you. In order to apply for a job at Globus to be a tour director, you have to work for somebody else for 10 years before you could even apply. And out of that, we do get about 4,500 applications a year. We end up choosing usually about two to five people and they don't stay um, that long because it is a tough job. They are on their game. And of course now with protocols, we are all tasked with knowing everything from what kind of air you're breathing to what kind of germs are on your suitcase and making sure that our passengers are safe throughout the entire um, trip. And I will tell you, Matt, just to, you know this, but just to kind of interject with being safe, 99.9% .9 of all of our tours that went out in uh, 2021, there was no COVID, not on the Avalon side. We had one small family that had it on the Globus side. They were taken off the tour. It did not spread. So you can be well assured that you are going to be very safe traveling with us. So Matt, why don't you tell us about our value brand, our Cosmos? Yeah, let's do it here, Nance. So traveling with Cosmos, Nancy is sharing with you all about Globus, like she said, the, the mothership and where it all began. But we also do have an alternative uh, really relevant here in North America as well. So outside of Globus, we have Cosmos, which sometimes people forget about. So we want to just bring you up to speed on what Cosmos is, because maybe as you listen in, you say, hey, this is the kind of vacation that appeals to me. This is where I want to go. So I'm going to reach out to my travel advisor and I'm going to get this tripped book. But we know, right, that people want everything taken care of on these trips. But here with Cosmos, we're going to combine the, the structure of a tour, but we add in the freedom of independent travel as well with the benefits of touring vacation. So how about that? So a lot of clients with Cosmos, you may thinking, you know what, Maybe this, this trip is on my bucket list. I can't get there. Cosmos can really make that travel dream a reality for you. So even for the independent traveler, if you want to get out and explore maybe a little bit on your own, Cosmos is a great opportunity to do it for you. It's not just a cheaper Globus because it really is built to uh, cater to a more savvy traveler. So maybe you've been to some of these places you know, within our own backyard here that we're going to talk about coming up. Maybe you want a little more free time built into your itinerary. You don't want to be on the go as much. This is where Cosmos is going to be the perfect uh, option for your vacation. And actually with Cosmos, I'll share a fun little fact. You have as much as 40% of your time free on vacation versus is free or pre-planned. So I think that's a great selling point. So if that appeals to you, take a look at Cosmos as well. Cosmos does offer innovative itineraries. Of course, tonight we're focusing just on North America. Cosmos has plenty to offer here in our own backyard. We always say it's smart hotels and it's the three C's of Cosmos. So these are clean, comfortable, and convenient hotels. Cosmos, the hotel is gonna be a little more uh, suburban. Not completely, but think of Globus in the heart of the destination like Nancy was talking about. The Cosmos level hotel is gonna be a little further out. Now just right sightseeing, again, this is the big sights, the big sounds, what you need to see in a destination, but then also leaving time for you to do what you want. Nancy mentioned our experienced tour directors and how phenomenal they are. They really are. They are experts on hand. And she, I mean, she described it perfectly, but these 
these tour directors, they are friendly, they're knowledgeable, and they really do help the help bring the destination to life. Nancy, I know I've shared this with you a lot too, but you know, on my adventure to Alaska last summer, I just rave about our tour director. And he was so phenomenal. Everything was so planned out. He helped people book excursions that weren't even available uh, through us if they had something on their list they really wanted to do. He went above and beyond to accommodate dietary restrictions, things like that. But also his knowledge, just what he's sharing is, you know, we're driving through the beautiful, um, landscape of Alaska too. It was really remarkable. And the tour director does put a spin. And Nancy, I think you probably agree that with this. Also, I'll let you chime in too. But don't you think it's amazing what you learn from the tour director and how they really bring the destination to life? Don't you think that's something that, it's, that it's you so don't incredible. really get until you're on tour, right? I was on a tour in November and I kept thinking, I need to go home and read all my history books because I don't think <laughs> I paid attention during those. <laughs> <laughs> it, it totally isn't. It, it paints the destination. It gives you a greater appreciation. And guess what? These people are local to these destinations and they are so proud to share them with you. Nancy touched on this one too, but new motor coaches. So we actually lease our motor coaches. So they're always top of the line, new, and of course designed with your comfort in mind. So while you are uh, touring, we make sure you're well taken care of. Again, Cosmos, the balance of sites and leisure, it's really the perfect combination. So if you want some sightseeing, you want some free time, make sure you check out Cosmos. And then personalized touring. So with that free time, again, how you spend your time on tour is totally up to you. So let's take a look at some of the components with Cosmos to see what you know, makes it what we're talking about here. The one I really wanted to make sure we talked about is the just right sightseeing. But as I say that, you're like, what does that mean? So it is a combination, again, of those included sites, the inside visits and orientation sightseeing, depending on the city that we always do. But this allows you to, you know, acclimate to the destination, check the big guys, as we say, off the list. So the, the must do sites when you're in these cities in North America. But then again, time for that independent exploration. So it, it makes sure that you, as our client traveling with us, have access to the things you shouldn't miss, but also time to really tailor that vacation to your specific needs. So again, perfect balance between sites and leisure. And now, Nancy, I think is really the fun part as we get into this. We can really let our product shine here. And let me say for all of you, all of you tuned in this evening, this is a fraction of the product. Nancy, Nancy showed you how many tours we have as part of our North America portfolio. So if there is something that you're not seeing tonight where you're like, hmm, I wonder you know, if, if uh, Globus or Cosmos offer that, reach out to your travel advisor and they can find something for you because we just don't have time, unfortunately, to cover all of the amazing product we have to offer you tonight. So let's talk about North America for a second, right? We get lost in the world because there is so many amazing places out there. But right here in our own backyard, let's take the time to rediscover and learn all about the diverse travel opportunities that North America has to present because I think a lot of times it does get lost in the shuffle of you know, the grand scheme of things because we all have so many amazing places on our bucket list that we wanna get to and we've got a limited amount of time. But within North America, you're talking about these historical sites, natural wonders, tropical paradises, not unfortunately outside my window, but we know Hawaii has that to offer. And again, all here in our backyard. Traveling to North America for a lot of us, you know, or within our, our borders, presents an opportunity where we don't have a super long travel time, especially being in here in the Midwest, right? It's about three hours to the West Coast, three hours, uh, not even three hours, two and a half or so um, out to the East Coast. So it really presents a, a unique opportunity. I know there's some appreh apprehension behind leaving the borders, things like that. So why not take that trip that you've always put off in North America? Now is the time to do it. So let's take a look at some of our most popular North American tours. All right, first up, we have America's National Park. On this tour, you can see here, it's gonna start in Rapid City, so in South Dakota, and ending in Salt Lake City. It is a 10 day tour and it is an on the go pace, but here as part of this tour, you're gonna to get to experience the wonders of the West through its best known national parks. 
and it's gold mining towns as well. If you wanna see some amazing scenery, I mean, just look at your screen here, right? That is part of it, along with some amazing wildlife potentially in these national parks. If that is up your alley, this tour is perfect for you. Some other visits are also to Yellowstone National Park, along with Green Teton National Park. Again, let us handle all the details. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, enjoy your ride on the motor coach, take those pictures and enjoy yourself and make memories with yourself or friends, family, loved ones, whatever it is. And let me stress that too, Nancy, and I think you can speak to this one too. The demand for North America is overwhelming right now. To try to plan even something like this seems pretty simple, but when you start planning everything out, the miles on your car, great, now Yellowstone, I can't stay within the park because the hotel I wanted is sold out. We have guaranteed availability in these national parks, and I think that cannot be overstated because we take care of all the logistics. The hardest part for everybody tuning in, wouldn't you agree, Nancy, is choosing which amazing state to visit as part of their North America vacation. Absolutely. And you brought up a really good point, Matt, that um, there are parks out there and Yellowstone is one of them that aren't, they have a limited number of people that can mm -hmm. go in every day. So if you decide just to drive out there, you don't know if you're going to be able to get in there or not. But the motor coaches do have contracts for many years to come. Mm -hmm. So we're very safe in getting you into all these parks. Yes. And Nancy, thank you for talking about local favorites because I didn't have to say anything on this one, but just wanted to point out some of the local favorites available as part of this tour. So we've got sightseeing at Grand Teton National Park. Nancy, you know, we always have to talk about food on a webinar. It's a Absolutely. little chilly out, but how about the opportunity to sit and take in the view at Grand Teton National Park and enjoy a freshly made huckleberry shake. Doesn't that sound mm, awesome? Sounds delicious. Oh, mouth-watering. I cannot wait for summer. And also another local favorite, really give you a flair and a taste of the wild, wild west. We include a chuck wagon cookout in Jackson as well there in Wyoming. So if this tour speaks to you, right up my alley. So book away. Next up, Nancy, let's go there right now. Oh my goodness. One of our favorite places, Nancy and I both love this destination who doesn't it's tropical oh, it's paradise beautiful beautiful <laughs> yeah but this this nancy i sure you can attest to this this one sells like hot cakes here because of course we have to get out of the winter months right nobody wants to see snow when we've got this in our backyard so this is our grand hawaii vacation 13 day tour from honolulu to maui so things you can do as part of this tour you can snorkel in Hawaii's beautiful, when I say beautiful, it's breathtaking waters. You can take in the beauty of Kauai. Or if you just want to sit back, relax, enjoy your time in Hawaii, you can kick back on world famous Waikiki Beach. I love this part of the tour as well, Nancy, that we include the visit to Pearl Harbor. So you don't have to worry about that. I know a lot of people have that on their list. When we talk about reservations and hard to get into, Nancy, that's another one, right? So we take clients and visit famous Battleship Row. We also include uh, a festive luau with Polynesian dancing, because that is a tradition. You cannot go to Hawaii without seeing a luau. And then, of course, Hawaii just has a magnificent draw, but really, really in this market here in the Midwest as we're looking to escape winter, one of my favorite destinations. You can see here pictured on your screen, you're gonna start with the three nights uh, on Oahu and visit Pearl Harbor, have some sightseeing there, but then also continue on to the big island of Hawaii, have some cool opportunities there, visit Kauai and then Maui as well. Some of the local favorites here include a visit to the Kona Coffee Living History Farm. I talked about it, but a luau and a Polynesian show and then a visit to the Kauai Coffee Camp Company Plantation as well to learn about the importance of that industry in Hawaii as well. Another thing, Nancy, I think what's great, you and I both know, these tours, they have a, a pretty good pace to them, right? So you are on the go learning and seeing all sorts of different things. Incorporated with this tour is leisure days on the island, which is not available on many tours. 
you have full days of leisure as part of this. So if you want to be busy, you can book some of the optional excursions we have to offer, or you can just relax on the beach, whatever you want. And how about going and spending some extra pre or post nights too, Nancy, right? Because we have that available. So if you want to work with your travel agent and you want to have a few extra nights on Oahu, they can help you with that. So take a look at the Grand Hawaii Vacation. Really, really popular. Also one of my favorite states and destinations here in our backyard, Northern California's finest. I actually had my sisters lived out in this area for a long time. So I've spent a lot of time out here exploring and, and taking it all in. But this one here, you can uh, see starts and ends in San Francisco. Woohoo! It is totally the perfect blend here. You see the little circle you're gonna do, but it blends the, the beautiful San Francisco and a big major city. But then you also get into the beauty and the majesty that the California National Parks have to offer as well. So you're gonna get into the towns of Carmel and Monterey, but then you also get to visit beautiful Yosemite National Park. You've got Sequoia National Park along with Kings National Parks. California really does offer some amazing scenery as you can see with the Golden Gate Bridge pictured here. And you're gonna have the opportunity to experience all of this if this is the tour that appeals to you. Some of the local favorites here include a uh, riding of a train and visiting a logging museum. So all sorts of, of cool things as part of this tour. This area is so underrated, I'm telling you. Sonoma wine country, if you wanna go have a glass of wine, you can do that. So take a look at this one as well. And then completely flipping the script on you, this is actually a Cosmos tour. So again, if you're somebody who wants a little more free time or you're looking for a great value, reach out to your travel advisor who is listening in so they can provide you with a quote and get you all set to go to the cities of the Great East. As you can see on your screen here, this is an eight day tour from Boston to Washington DC. The history contained within these cities is magnificent. So you've got Washington DC, you've got Philadelphia, you've got New York City, and then up into Boston. And really this tour is about bringing the history alive in these great cities out on the East Coast. So there's gonna be some guided sightseeing with an expert local guide in Boston, New York City, Philadelphia, and Washington DC, as I mentioned, which is great because again, you're gonna see the must-see sites that when you think of one of those cities, like, hey, I need to see that, that's gonna be included, but then free time for you to go and explore these amazing cities on your own. In Boston, for example, you're gonna to get to visit the uh, Freedom Trail. New York, you're gonna see Times Square and Ellis Island. Philadelphia, of course, that beautiful cracked bell, the Liberty Bell. Visit Arlington National Cemetery in the Lincoln Memorial with a stop at the White House in DC. I'll tell you, watch the changing of the guard ceremony there at Arlington National Cemetery. It is incredibly moving. But again, more free time to enjoy these cities. This is Boston to Washington DC. Little insider tip as well, if you are looking to take in some of the uh, classic fall foliage colors as well, check this tour out for a late September departure to see the magnificent fall colors come to life. So Nancy, I know you have some other ones too. I've got one more I'm gonna talk about here, and then you've got some uh, tours, and actually you're gonna talk about that classic fall foliage because it is remarkable. So let's go up north of the border, visit our friends in Canada, eh? How about that? So Canadian Rockies here, look at this one, starting in Calgary, working your way westward over to Vancouver. Canadian Rockies, I mean, can you just look at this picture, please? It's stunning, right? That is what these mountains are known for, the breathtaking glaciers, the rivers running through this area, and of course, the gorgeous national parks. Now you can see as part of this tour, you're gonna experience the beauty for yourself, and you're gonna overnight in Calgary. And how about this one in Banff National Park? Seriously, the beauty there is unmatched. You get to stay there. You're also gonna to get to stay in Jasper National Park along with Kamloops, cute little town up there, Victoria, and then end in the big major metropolitan city of Vancouver as well. So that is a 10 day tour. So Nancy, why don't you 
talk about some of the national park highlights that we have to offer as well. I will. So thank you very much. And just to kind of remind our guests that are on this call, our Cosmos product that Matt was talking about, that is really our value product. So you will see that the hotels are perhaps out of city center, perhaps a three and four star hotel, and not as many meals are included. And then on the flip side, we have our Globus, which I'm going to talk about, which those hotels are in city center. Um, they they do include more uh, meals on the trips, and they are four and five star hotels. So we like to provide both things depending on if you've been there before and you don't need to stay in the city center, or if you want um, a more inclusive package, you might want to look at the Globus. The great thing is, is your travel advisor has invited you on this particular call. They are the experts. They were invited because they are the experts with all of our products. They are the ones to go to and to really talk about um, what is best, you know, in your bucket list and what is best for you in, in our packages. So I'm going to spend our last few minutes and just talking about some of the other parks and, and things like that. You know, we're going to talk about um, Alaska, which is, I know, one of Matt's favorites, one of my favorites. And let's get started with our Exploring America's Great Parks. So this, if you are looking to see some of the great parks, this is the tour. This is a 14-night tour, so it's a two-week. You're going to be walking a lot, a lot of rocks on this. You're going to be doing seven different national parks. You have Yellowstone, Grand Teton, Bryce Canyon, Zion, Grand Canyon, the Arches, and Custer State Park. So this is a great place to see all of these different parks in one great swoop. You're going to go through Colorado and Arizona and Wyoming and Utah, touching a little bit in Nevada. So if you are looking to get most of the national parks in one great trip, this is the one to look at. Now, one of our favorites... Andy. Yeah. Can I, can I just stop you there? Because you like can. literally my mouth is, my mouth always hits the floor when I look at this slide. Could you imagine the logistics that it would take somebody to plan this on their own, let no. alone try to secure the reservations and then plan all the excursions in between that as well, along with meals? I know. And the hotels, <laughs> you know, it's and this incredible. is incredible. Really this is a really great opportunity. And I will tell you, I've driven some of these routes and I don't think that I want to drive them. I'd like to have a professional motor coach driver totally. taking this. <laughs> I can take in these views and get these pictures. <laughs> Absolutely. So Matt, let's talk about one of our most favorite, Alaska. Oh my so, word. Some of you have probably done Alaska on the big ships and I have too. I've done six cruises into Alaska. Um, I was fortunate to work for a company that did that. And I will tell you the land is completely different than taking the cruise. Beautiful, they're both beautiful sites. But if you've done a cruise and you say, I've done Alaska, you have not done all of Alaska. So this is a really awesome itinerary. And if you haven't done Alaska at all, please look at this. Look at how blue that snow is in the glaciers. It's just an absolutely gorgeous area. Now with this, it's an easy flight because we're going in and out of Anchorage, so that's a nice little thing. We also have a little train ride um, up into Denali National Park. And that train is, um, it's just wonderful because you get to see a lot of animals out there. You get to see the sheep and hopefully maybe you'll see a bear, um, but you'll see a lot of deer. It's just an absolutely gorgeous thing. And um, and I hope I don't offend anybody when I say this, but I always tell people, if you didn't believe in God before you went to Alaska, you will after. <laughs> it's just the most um, stunning place. Wouldn't you agree, Matt? It is remarkable, Nancy. Like you and I know this, we could talk for hours about this. I mean, just seeing these pictures, you know, and I was up close and personal last July, and you're talking about the wildlife that you see in Denali. I mean, we watched a mom nurse her cub, and then they rolled down the hill and played together. The cruises that we include, two six-hour cruises, like you mentioned, Nancy, the you know ride on the Alaska Railroad. Oh my goodness, that was so amazing to see the scenery and see Alaska from a different side. I mean, guess what? There's a, a bartender and you have a domed car so you had a moose kiss, which you have to promise me you'll get if you go to Alaska. So it's coffee, it's Irish cream uh, and Kahlua topped with whipped cream. I mean, does it get better? And then guess what? <laughs> VIP with Globus, breakfast included on the train. I had these three massive fresh blueberry pancakes with organic birch syrup. Oh my word. Nancy, <laughs> I could just go on and on. But listen, if Alaska's not on your list, 
put it on there if it is on your list move it to the top because you will love this destination it's remarkable as you can tell we both love alaska and we'd go there tomorrow if we could but let's kind of go outside of alaska and let's go over to our classic fall foliage uh, matt talked a little bit about this um, of course our fall tours for many reasons they are always some of the first ones to book because people want to see that beautiful color because we're coming out of covid and people really are feeling good about traveling these tours are booking very quickly so that is not a salesperson trying to tell you to, to book this if you talk to your advisors they will tell you the same thing that this is a very uh, popular area and they will be booking up quick but this is a great tour it's in and out of boston so that's an easy two-hour flight um, out of Milwaukee or Minneapolis. We're going to go all the way up to Bahaba. My husband's from here, so I can pronounce those. But you get to see some national parks. You get to go around and see Maine, Vermont, Connecticut, Rhode Island, New Hampshire. So you really get uh, quite a flavorful um, of, of some of the eastern coast places. Totally. So let's go over Nancy, let me hijack yeah. you too on this one because I have to tell you this. These pictures, <laughs> these are real. And the colors really look like this. I had a friend do this to her actually last fall, and I was like, all right, let's see what she got. Her pictures were stunning. They were stunning. I mean, you can't even make up the beauty that the, the fall colors, you know, you got the maple trees, the poplar trees, they all line these byways as you drive into these quaint little towns. It's spectacular. And Nancy, I have to put this in here too because I'm a little piggy. How about some lobster bake? We include that uh, or yes. a little popover and seafood chowder. Yes. Or as you say it with your accent, some chowder. Yeah, we got that as part of this tour. So book it away. It is incredibly popular. This one sells out quick. It does. And I will tell you when I was there, um, I, I totally said I was going to eat lobster three meals a day and I did. And I, I just loved it. So let's move on to the circle, the American West. And this is a um, this is actually our Cosmos, so this is a budget friendly. But look at this, holy Moses! This is a 13 night, again a two week. You are going to be on the go, and you are going to see a lot. Again, this is in and out of Denver, so it's an easy flight. You're going to see seven national parks again. So think about this if you really want to get a, a good um, a trip in. Think about it as a family trip. You know, so many people take the car and they take their kids out there. We do have many kids that do take our tours. They just have to be five or older. And um, they are very well behaved in our tours and they get to climb around all of these canyons and things. So it's a really good opportunity that you don't have to worry about, you know, feeding them every single meal. You don't have to worry about where they're gonna stay. So think about taking this as a family park or a family trip. So we now have to sing, oh, Canada. And we're gonna turn over a new maple leaf in Canada. Look at how pretty that is. We have a lot of tours up in Canada. And as Matt said, we cannot go through all of them tonight. We have 81 just in North America alone. So let's go into our first tour, which is our historic cities of Eastern Canada. If you are looking for something really beautiful this is one of those tours you know it's you're going to go in or out of montreal and then in or out of toronto so again from milwaukee or minneapolis these are very easy flights it's about an hour hour and a half to toronto depending on what city you're going out of but you're going to uh, get to see montreal you're going to get out to see all the big cities the um uh, toronto niagara falls this is a beautiful site for Niagara Falls. So you will be doing that on your tour. So again, this is a great opportunity just to see that area of the country. And you know, Canada was pretty much closed down for two years as well. So people are really hankering to get back up um, in that area. Now, one of my favorite tours, again, I know I always say that, but Newfoundland and Labrador. Well, first of all, Matt and I are dog lovers. So how can you not like a place where the Labradors come from? But Newfoundland, if anyone on this call has seen the show Come From Away or know the show, this is where you're going to go see Gander. Gander is the city that on 9-11, all the planes that came from Europe could not land in the United States. So they had to go to a retired Air Force base in Gander. If you've heard about the show, it's an absolutely beautiful show. These people took in all of our uh, 
people. It was it was primarily Americans. There were a few others, but primarily Americans, and they could not get their luggage off the planes. They, of course, you know, didn't have any food on the planes, so they landed there. They had to stay for several days, and these people just let them in their homes. Just said, "Oh, my home is three blocks down that way. Just go in, make yourself at home, take a shower." take some clothes, whatever you need. And to this day, those people go back and have reunions with the people in Gander because they were so nice to them. And the United States people actually set up a um, college fund for their ki for kids in Gander to be able to go to college wherever they wanted to. So it's a great news story, but this whole area is just beautiful. You get to really get an overview of Newfoundland and Labrador, and this is just uh, one of those tours that people don't really think about because I don't think there's a lot of things on TV about it, and that's usually where people get excited. So if you're looking for something unique, think about uh, this particular tour. And last but not least, we have the Grand Western Canada Vacation. Now, Matt touched a little bit on this um, from the Cosmos side. This is from the Globus side. Really a beautiful, beautiful tour. It's going to be 12 nights. Um, I know this sounds like, like we're a salesperson uh, on here, but really these tours that are going into the Canadian Rockies, and this is where this all is, these do sell out very quickly because they are so popular. These are the hotels that you see that are just the most beautiful. And if you look up any of the hotels that we stay in, they are known as the most beautiful hotels in the world, not just in the Canada or in the United States, but in the world. You're gonna to get to go to Victoria, which is a beautiful little um, city, very European, nice little shops, it's right in the water. You can have a nice little eatery, see the big ships come in. Whistler, wonderful ski resort. Um, if you remember several years ago, the Winter Olympics were there. Um, it's a very dog friendly place. So again, Matt and I like this. So you can take your dogs in the restaurants and take your dogs all over. Of course, you're gonna go in the summertime, you get to take the gondola all the way to the very top. And it's just beautiful. So at the end of the day, we just wanna say thank you so much for coming on this call. Again, your travel advisors have the pricing. They have the full um, uh, itineraries for you. They can do any itineraries. So please, they are the experts. You know, they have had uh, two years of really learning a lot of things, learning more about air quality and, and germ control and all that than we ever wanted to know. But they really know everything. And if they don't, they know how to get a hold of Matt and I, and we ask questions. And um, they just want to make sure that whatever's on your bucket list, that they can help you and um, take care of you. So, I think Matt, you said it perfectly, right? Well, good. I think you said it perfectly. So, you Do know, I just questions, Matt. In our you know, I was box? able to I was able to get to everything. So, okay, wonderful. Thanks for the the questions, but you know, Nancy, I just want to echo everything. You know, you've said it. But to all the consumers listening, I just want to say this: your travel advisor who referred you to this webinar and who invited you. They are a superhero. What they have gone through the last two years, nobody has ever seen in this industry. We could not survive without the travel advisor support that we have and all of you standing behind us. So when you have a remarkable vacation experience with Globus or Cosmos, I need you to do one thing, and that is spread the love of your travel agent far and wide. So you're gonna tell every person you know what a wonderful travel advisor you're working with, the value that your travel advisor brings, and you are gonna make a campaign of why your friends and family should reach out and use a travel advisor. This industry is stronger because of the travel advisors and it stays together because of the travel advisor community. We couldn't do without the travel advisors, so more now than ever, we need you to support them. So to all the travel advisors listening in tonight too, Thank you, we admire you, we appreciate everything you do, and for your clients, we can't wait to welcome you on tour to enjoy what North America has to offer. Thanks everybody, have a great night. Have a good evening, bye-bye.